Japan, an ancient nation that has helped to engineer the modern world. A nation which is surrounded by mountainous terrain and high rise buildings. A nation where the average delay is measured just in seconds. It has become the world's technological superpower by innovating various technologies. One machine linked these far flung cities together in super quick time and became the example of the rapid development growth of Japan. Yeah, the Shinkansen, also known as the bullet train. The Shinkansen is the most technological advanced high speed rail in the world. It rolls through the mountains of Japan at a speed of 320 kmph. Since its inception in the year 1964, the Shinkansen have maintained a record for being the most safest and the most reliable high speed rail in the world by carrying 10 billion people without any single casualty and doesn't met any major accident through the entire service of 56 years. The Shinkansen have became the lifeline of Japan as most of the people use this Japanese beauty to travel from one city to another at daily basis such as office work etc. The Shinkansen is the powerful symbol of not only the Japan's post-war recovery but also groundbreaking because at the dawn of the jet age it was believed that the air travel will replace the railways by its fast speed. But the Japanese have proven them wrong by introducing the world's first high speed train. But do you know that there were lots of challenges were came during the construction of the world's first high speed rail line? Come, in this video, we will tell you about how Japan have made an impossible one into possible one. For that, we have to go towards the past. In the 18th century, the bullock carts and horses were the only primary modes of transport, but they were slow and inconvenient. But in mid 19th century, the introduction of locomotive trains were found a huge success. With travelling faster and carrying more passengers, the railways have become the primary modes of transport and revolutionized the transportation system for up to 100 years. But then things start to go change. In the 1950s, the introduction of personal freedom of automobiles and jet power aircraft resulted in a huge competition for the railways as they were becoming the primary modes of transport. On that time, it was believed that the trains are now became obsolete as a slow and inconvenient modes of transport. In the 1950s, the railways were have a very hard time. In the US, the government was spending billions of dollars to make airports and interstate highways and rail lines were shutting down. But in Europe, the railways were stagnating as many countries were still using the steam locomotives on their railways. But as we move to Japan, you will see that the country is surrounded by many mountainous terrain which pose as a major challenge to make highways and especially for making big airports in Japan, such as Tokyo Narita Airport which faced extreme land acquisition problems during its construction. Due to its mountainous terrain, the railways in Japan uses 1067 mm wide meter gauge tracks which were indirect routes and were not fast. On that time, the fastest train on Japan was the Limited Express who run at a speed of 130 kmph and took 6 hours and 40 minutes by travelling through the Japan's two largest cities from Tokyo to Osaka. In Japan, it was believed that the railways were outdated and soon it will be replaced with the help of jet power aircraft. However, the then president of Japanese National Railways, Shinji Sogo, insisted strongly on the possibility of high-speed railway. And just then, the former Japanese National Railway's chief engineer, Hideyoshima, gave him a support to make the high-speed railways. And finally, in the year 1959, the construction of the world's first high-speed rail line, nicknamed the Tokaido Shinkansen, was started under the Sogo's leadership. Hideyoshima was appointed as the project's chief engineer. The objective of the project 
was to provide high speed rail service. So, they have made a target to run the trains at a speed of 200 kmph, which was twice faster than any other trains in the world. The newer line was dedicated to only high speed trains, which enabled them to run at incredible speeds. And in order to maintain such higher speeds, the width between the two rails were increased from 1067 mm wide meter gauge track to 1435 mm wide standard gauge tracks, which were costlier than the narrow gauge ones but allowed them for greater stability at higher speeds. But this means that this will make the Shinkansen incompatible with the rest of the Japan's rail network. Also, because of the wider gauge, the Shinkansen cannot execute a sharper turn, which meant tunneling through the mountains of Japan's difficult terrain. During the construction of Tokaido Shinkansen, the Japanese engineers have made 67 tunnels and 3,000 bridges along the entire 500 km high speed rail corridor. But there were many challenges during the construction of the world's first high-speed rail line, such as developing new technologies, increasing construction cost, and many more. Before the construction of the Shinkansen, the estimated construction cost was 200 billion Japanese yen. But during the five years of construction, the construction cost was drastically increased to double, nearly 400 billion Japanese yen. Because of this, both Shinji Sogo and Hideyoshima resigned by taking the responsibility before the project even finished. The media was started calling the project as the Japan's Great Wall of China and most of the people were started to say that the project is a failure and they believe that the automobiles and jet aircrafts as the future and the railways will extend in the end of 20th century. But they didn't even realize that they will prove wrong and the criticism will soon fall silent. Finally, after the five years of construction, the Shinkansen was opened on 1st October 1964 just in time for the first Tokyo Olympics and it was became an immediate success and quickly turned into a profitable route and the world started taking note to the world's first high-speed railway. The Shinkansen had became the fastest train in the world, having a maximum speed of 256 kmph during the trial run. But during commercial run, it runs at a speed of 220 kmph. Because of this, the travel time between Tokyo to Osaka was reduced from 6 hours to just 4 hours. In just the first 3 years of service, the Shinkansen have carried over 100 million passengers. And since its debut in the year 1964, the demand skyrocketed as most of the people started to use the Shinkansen for a daily basis also. For example, a company executive who lives in Tokyo and wants to attend the meeting in Osaka, but he don't want to take the expensive air travel. So, he can take the cheaper and affordable Shinkansen, having a 3-4 to four hours of trip, attend the meeting in Osaka boards again at the Shinkansen for 3 to 4 hours and still he can make it to the home in time for dinner. The combination of speed and frequent service made the world's first high-speed railway enormously profitable. With this, within the 12 years of its inauguration, the Shinkansen have carried 1 billion passengers in 1976 and the average daily ridership have also increased, which made the Shinkansen as a powerful symbol of Japan's post-war recovery and help the economic growth and the development of Japan. Now let us know about the features of the Shinkansen train and its system. The Shinkansen train, also known as the Shinkansen Zero Series, is known as the first high-speed rail in the world. This train runs on a 25 kV AC overhead catenary. To overcome from the limitations of a 1500 volts. DC OHG on the existing Japan's rail network. The Zero Series is also known as the world's first train who runs without a locomotive. This means that this train doesn't require any locomotive to pull it. Instead, the Zero Series is run by hand 
185 kilowatt electric traction motors and the train is designed in such a way that it could be able to operate even with multiple failed motors these traction motors have a lower maintenance cost than the locomotives which make the shinkansen easy to maintain also the electric traction motors have able to reduce weight by equally distribution of weight of train which helps the shinkansen to run at a speed of more than 220 kmph the train was designed into a sleek and revolutionary cone shaped front with this the people also call the shinkansen the bullet train this cone shaped nose also helped to reduce the tunnel boom this occurs when the trains enter the tunnels at a very high speed for that the engineers designed a new line dedicated only for high speed trains which can withstand the stress of running 60 high speed trains in each direction every day which is now increased to 100 trains today to withstand the stresses rail ties were made up from the pre-stressed concrete and the rails which are normally 82 feet long were welded into a 5000 feet long continuous section to reduce vibration and noise during the construction of the shinkansen rail crossings were eliminated instead cars have to run either above or below the line to ensure safe and reliable service Moving at a higher speed of 220 kmph, the Shinkansen driver would have struggled to react in time to the conventional wayside signals. The solution was automatic train control system or ATC. The ATC system sends signal information directly on board to the driver, which helps them to regulate the speeds based on the train's position. The entire line was being monitored by a centralized traffic control center in Tokyo. This traffic control center is responsible for the safe operation of the higher volume of trains. But one challenge which Shinkansen encountered was the earthquake. As we know that the Japan is situated at the ring of fire, which makes the Japan the world's most earthquake prone country. So, it stands as a major challenge for a high speed train because earthquake can even derail the trains in a catastrophic manner so the solution was earthquake detection system this system will cut the power at the first sign of the earthquake which automatically activates the train's emergency brakes do you think we are joking hell no this system actually helped to prevent accidents which is also a reason of the Shinkansen's air safety record and to keep the tracks in tip top shape special diagnostic trains nicknamed the yellow doctor regularly run on the line to check the state of the track and overhead lines using the sophisticated onboard monitoring equipment the success of the first Shinkansen line from dated extension to Okayama Hiroshima and Fukuoka in the west and within the next 50 years The new lines were also open to reach every corner of the nation. The enormous success of the world's first high-speed rail line not only profound impact on Japan but also changed the image of the railways. Japan has proven to the world that the railways can go at higher speeds. After the success of the Shinkansen line, many countries in the world started to construct their own high-speed railways. like Francis TGV which began its service in the early 1980s over the past 56 years the speed of the shinkansen lines have continued to increase thanks to the new technologies and the new generations of trains today the newer shinkansen trains now regularly run at a speed of 320 kmph The Shinkansen 0 series who started its services in the year 1964 were retired in the year 2008. The 0 series have been replaced with a new modern Shinkansen N700A and many more becoming its successor. Today, the Shinkansen N700A covers the same distance from Tokyo to Osaka in just 2 hours and 30 minutes. with the help of Nozomi Super Express service today the shinkansen moves around 1 million people every single day during the peak hours 
One train leaves Tokyo every 3 minutes. No other railway systems in the world can match the Shinkansen for its incredible efficiency, safety and punctuality. Since its debut in the year 1964, the Shinkansen have carried over 10 billion people without any single casualty. As of now, many countries such as Germany, France, South Korea, Taiwan, China, Italy and many more now as their own high-speed railways and they have also improved the nation's economy and more are yet to come. It's no doubt that the Shinkansen have revolutionized the railway industry forever. Thanks to these two men, Shinji Sogo and Hiroshima, which have given to the world's first high-speed train. And even they resigned due to the higher construction cost, they have proven to the world that the railways can go at higher speeds. That's all for today. Do you know that Japan is helping India to construct the India's first ever high-speed rail line, which will initially run from Mumbai to Ahmedabad, covering the distance of 500 kilometers with the average speed of 320 kmph? We will make a separate video on them. Comment down if you want us to make a video on India's high-speed rail project. And let's make a target of 100 likes. And if you help us to achieve this target, we promise that we will make a video on India's high speed rail project. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and share the video and subscribe to our channel The Global Transits and comment us which city do you want to explore by us. We make awesome videos on rapid transit system such as metro rails, monorails, trams, light rails, rapid rails and high speed trains to you and that's it for all goodbye I'm a good I need an obstacle yeah I don't need your love don't need